Chips and weather together. Justin, thank you. 25 years, that's just a fraction of a lifespan for many buildings, but perhaps not the Bradley Center. Even arena officials say it's time to look to the future, and that's what happened today on the Marquette campus. The speakers came from all around the city, the country, to offer their two cents. Our AJ Bayapur was there. Every time they hit the poll, do you want a new arena? Well, that's not the right question. Do you want a new arena? Do you want a quality of life where your grandchildren and your children want to live here? That's the question. For some of the panelists speaking Monday at the Marquette Law School, it's simple. Either replace the BMO Harris Bradley Center, or Milwaukee almost certainly loses the bucks and becomes less relevant as a city. We sell over a billion two dollars worth of goods and services to China. And in that conversation, I'll be talking about Xuan Lu Dui, which is Mandarin for male deer because they'll connect to the bucks faster than they'll connect to anything about Milwaukee. If the moral support is there, the next question is who will pay for the new arena? Sports economist Andrew Zimbalist has studied the construction of arenas and stadiums around the country. What these studies come to is the conclusion that it, it is not logical to believe that building a new stadium or a new arena or attracting a professional sports team to your city will have a positive economic impact. Zimbalist adds there are examples of new arenas giving their communities a boost, but those arenas were almost always privately funded, something Bradley Center officials don't think is realistic for Milwaukee. It just doesn't make sense. The revenue model doesn't make sense in cities like Milwaukee without some public contribution. Although discussions are at a preliminary stage, there's a limited amount of time left to find a solution. The chairman of the BMO Harris Bradley Center board says the arena has about five years left as a useful, viable modern arena. In 2017, the Bucks lease with the arena expires. In downtown Milwaukee, AJ Byford, Fox 6 News. Thank you, AJ. And in a statement this afternoon, the Milwaukee Bucks said, and we quote, while the Bucks will be part of the conversation in the future, at this early stage, we recognize the need for the overall community to begin the discussion about a new multi-purpose facility in downtown Milwaukee. The Brewers didn't enjoy a whole lot of home cooking to start this Major League Baseball season. So do they fare better today on the road? Here's a hint. Ryan Braun back in the lineup.